Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Haight here, Independent Scentsy Consultant, back with you again today. And I have a whole bunch of Melters mixers for you guys that I've been working on. Um, so, I'm trying to think, that one goes with this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I did, I have a, I'm missing the container, but um, it's here. I think I just stuck it in the other package. <laughs> so um, I worked on a mix. This was from um, Mariah R. had suggested putting together Polar Bear Hug, which I have it. It's sitting over there. Um, Polar Bear Hug with Palo Santo. And I had, I used four cubes of Polar Bear Hug because I was gonna, um, I think four cubes. I'm trying to think if I did four out here, four out there, or if I just did a couple in the kitchen. No, I'm pretty sure I did four and four. I think I did this with, um, these were the kitchen. This is my bathroom. This is me. This is kitchen. Um, oh, and I'm missing another. Um, I'm missing the other clam of this one. Not that it matters. Um, can't believe I'm that dumb sometimes that I put them over there and then I, anyways. Um, I did, um, yeah, I'm almost positive, but I'm trying to think of what I did in combo. Not that it matters. I do remember that this one, um, this particular mix was out here. So four cubes, um, it, well, okay. So I have four warmers that I use out here. So one cube of Palo Santo in each of the four warmers and one cube of Polar Bear Hug in each of the warmers. And I just did them, um, together. Um, I put them in the same warmers and, um, she said polar bear hug with Palo Santo and it was so pretty. Um, I do like the smoky ones though. Not like beef jerky smoky, not like, um, fireside chats, not like, um, Gryffindor. I don't like, I don't like smoky. I, I don't even really love spiced ember glow anymore because of that weird smoky. I don't like smoky apple-y. <laughs> but I do like smoky like campfire-esque, like around the campfire is one of my all-time favorites. That'll totally be a club bar for me <laughs> when it goes away for the, the season and hopefully that'll come back. But so keep in mind, I do like those smoky notes. Um, and Polar Bear Hug, <clears throat> is oh I know where I did this one in my bedroom because I remember this now <laughs> um it was so pretty in my bedroom um and in my bedroom I do four cubes total in in two warmers I use the polar panorama which is an 18 watt element warmer and I use the diamond milk glass warmer um element warmer that's a 13 15 13 watt element warmer and I love both of those um I actually want to buy another um diamond milk glass because I love that one so much and I think it'd be really pretty down here but anyways um I'm a huge fan of element warmers I think because I never turn I know melters mixers <laughs> but I think because I never turn those warmers off and they have a constant they tend to prolong sense um because they use that hot plate kind of a, a method and I absolutely love um, element warmers. Obviously the more the more like ceramic or um, higher wattage element warmers, but I'm a huge fan. Anyways, <laughs> um, I remember because this was so pretty. Um, I don't necessarily love Polar Bear Hug on its own. It's a little boring <laughs> all by itself. Um, I know everybody, you know, lives and dies for 
polar bear hug, but I'm just not one of those people. But I do love this combination where polar bear hug is kind of like this, almost kind of, almost kind of like cozy cardigan, um, where it's like this soft kind of beautiful perfumey kind of a scent. Um, it's like comforting perfumey. And then you take that little bit of smoky um, from Palo Santo, like that woodsy, smoky, gingy. Um, and it's just a beautiful combination, kind of like um, frosted vanilla is, like how it's that beautiful, like frosted vanilla is kind of like this beautiful, like vanilla, like a, like a, toasty kind of vanilla with like that wood, I think it's white birch, that like wood snow in it. I think it's gorgeous. So Polar Bear Hug and Palo Santo kind of gave me some uh, frosted vanilla um, vibes without the peppermint. I actually really enjoyed this one, <laughs> believe it or not, because um, I was like, oh, Polar Bear Hug. I actually really like this one. So I highly recommend doing this. If you haven't had Palo Santo, Oh, it's really pretty. <laughs> I like, to me, it's kind of like cedar wood. Now my daughter gets kind of like, like fire, <laughs> like wood that's on fire. I don't get that. I get like a real pretty sweet wood, kind of like um, cedar, cedar wood. I love it. But um, yeah, it makes it with polar bear hug, lovely. So thank you, Mariah R for that one. Um, in my bedroom because it's like four cubes and one warmer, two of each, and four cubes and another warmer, two of each. Um, it's just, it's gorgeous and it lasts for days. I'd say it's probably a medium to light intensity. Um, it was lovely. I really enjoyed that one. And then Betsy slash B-A-B-F. Um, she recommended putting together cotton candy, cookie, and sugar, which the clams over there. <laughs> but um, putting those together, and I was like, ooh, I love sugar. It's kind of like a dupe for Aqualina pink sugar perfume. So it's very cotton candy perfume. It's got lemon drops in it, but I don't really smell the, the lemon or the citrus notes when I do sugar. Um, it just kind of makes it a brighter cotton candy, if that makes sense. And then cotton candy cookie. I like this one, but I know Brandy from Brandy's Barst Bricks was saying this too, and I have to agree with her. Um, I have trouble smelling this. Now, I'm going to try this in my bedroom um, because, I, I mean, these are in my club. I mean, I could let it sit and see if it cures kind of like um, Candy Crave, but I had trouble smelling this. Um, and I definitely think it's cotton candy cookie. Um, and for me in the clam, I'm smelling more, more of the cookie. Um, I'm not really smelling the cotton candy. I'm getting kind of like cookies for Santa smell, which I know a lot of people get, um, like not really spoiled milk. Well, maybe a sour milk kind of a note um, with cookies for Santa. It's kind of that, what I describe as like a cream cheese note. So this is more of that like cream cheese type cookie note for me. I don't get sour milk or anything. But that's what I, I'm getting the cream cheese cookie kind of a note. Um, more than I am the cotton candy. So I would actually maybe try this. But instead of cotton candy cookie, like I know I've done this mix before, but um, pink haze and sugar, and I know a lot of people like. So it's kind of like, I know what Betsy's trying to do there. It's kind of like a take on that combination that everybody loves um, using cotton candy cookie instead, and getting more of a bakery with the sugar. Um, I just wish I could have smelled it. And I, I think it's this bar. Um, I think. I don't know why this bar is doing that. Um, I don't, I mean, I think maybe it's because I'm trying to do two rooms and it's just not a strong enough bar. So that's worth trying in my bedroom. But 
If you have a smaller state space, like a bedroom or an office, maybe try that if you happen to still have sh um, cotton candy cookie and sugar from Bring Back My Bars. Um, Cause I, I know she's going there. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> I work till five and it's like 5.35. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, yeah, so. I know she's going for, um, it's definitely worth trying. Um, I just, I, I, I think maybe I picked the wrong space to try this. So, um, and then, um, I did a mix from my friend Caroline, Caroline Johnson. Um, she had recommended putting together and I got this in my club recently and it was like, yes, I can't wait to try this. Um, vanilla mint, which I was for sure thought that they were going to bring back <laughs> vanilla mint. Never thought they'd get rid of it. I was like, seriously, had I known that, I would have stocked up on the pods. Those are like one of my all-time favorite pods. Um, and then I just, I didn't, I went, I hoed and hummed over the flash sale, you guys. I was like, you know, like my, um, I just wanted to use like quad pay and it wasn't working with my um sensi card and because it's a prepaid <laughs> um and i was like shoot so i was trying to think it over and i was like oh I'll come back to it <laughs> everything was sold out and i was like it wasn't meant to be <laughs> it wasn't meant to have flash sale things so i did have some vanilla pods in there but i was just like oh, you know maybe do I want to spend all of my money and just pay cash? I didn't really want to at the time because I wanted to get more paint for my porch. It's like $65 a gallon. <laughs> um, but it's really good paint and it's supposed to be fade resistant and weather resistant. And, and it does too. The water beads up on it. So anyways, um, I didn't get flash sale stuff like everybody else. I just, I should have made decisions then. And I was like, I'll come back to it. Well, anyways, um, I, so I do not have an element. It wasn't one of my favorites anyway. Um, only because in wax, um, when I melted it before, I didn't love the citrus. I love the vanilla and I love the mint, but the citrus in it bothered me. In this tester, it's gorgeous. It smells just like the pods because when the pods are going, it's this beautiful perfumey vanilla. And it's not so much even vanilla as it is like this perfumey smell. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And I wish the wax, I didn't catch some of the citrus. Because I really love this um, in this tester. In pods, it's almost like a soapy vanilla, if that makes sense. Um, like a perfumey, soapy vanilla. Anyways, it's beautiful. Um, now I wish I'd had, now I wish I had put that in my club because I'm regretting, I really didn't think they'd get rid of it. <laughs> well, anyways, I have cleaning stuff and I'm gonna, I need to stock up on some more because I'm really loving the dish soap because every, because that paint, um, when I clean the brushes, I'll get to this in one second, Caroline, I promise. Um, I'm chatty. <laughs> uh, I feel like I haven't done videos in a while. Um. So when I have to clean those paint brushes, um, use soap and water. So I've been using a bunch because these are nice brushes that I use. Um, and so I've been using the vanilla mint every time I clean out the brush. So oh, I love that in the dish soap, in the bathroom cleaner, in, did I get counter clean? I think I did, but it would be under my sink. Oh gosh. Anyways. Um, so she recommended putting together lemon sorbet and vanilla mint, kind of like to bring the citrus out in it. Um, I, lemon sorbet is my favorite lemon ever, ever, of all time. Because it's literally like a lemon sorbet, like you're eating a lemon sorbet. Makes my mouth water because I've had lots of Italian ice oh, and lemon sorbet. <laughs> but... I love this combination, Caroline. Um, for the girl that was like, I don't really love vanilla mint. I love this. I don't love the citrus in it. I love this combination. The lemon is like creamy. Um, 
with that like perfumey, soapy vanilla. It was beautiful. I did this in the kitchen. It was beautiful. I so regret this. Let's vote vanilla mint back, <laughs> please. <laughs> Anyways, Caroline, that was excellent. I love that. If I had more vanilla mint, I would do it again. Um, it's, it's spectacular. So if lemon sorbet comes back or you have it sitting in your club to see if it comes back, um, like me, <laughs> and if you happen to be the lucky person that put this in your club, um, mix those two together. I loved it. I thought it was gorgeous. Um, yeah, so that was in my, um, pumpkin spice element warmer in my kitchen. Love that. And then, um, another one that I did in my kitchen, this was by me, um, this combination I came up with and I'm like, okay, cause I'm trying to use up these testers. Cause if you don't use them up, they kind of lose smell or, um, they just don't perform very well if you don't use them up and they, they tend to, you know, um, you get your, each catalog season, you end up replacing a lot of testers. <laughs> um, and then they, you know, they include a whole bunch that didn't carry over from the last catalog. So you get multiples of these. So I love using these in my bathrooms, in the kitchen. Um, yes. So I'm like, I think it would be really fun to put together pumpkin chai, which to me, I get pumpkin, a, a nutty pumpkin. There's a nutty note in pumpkin chai to me. I don't get chai tea like I wish I did. Um, I don't get chai spices really. I get pumpkin and nuts. So I also get the same thing from um, mocha doodle. I get chocolate and nuts. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but oh. Do you see how my camera makes me dark when I smell the tester? <laughs> it's just, anyway. Anyways, I loved putting mocha doodle and pumpkin chai together. These are current catalog scents. Um, I got a new iPhone, you guys, because I couldn't hear when I would get a call. <laughs> the top speaker wasn't working. I would literally have to put someone on speakerphone. It was an iPhone 11. <laughs> and so I had to upgrade to a 14. And the camera isn't the same. I kind of miss my old camera. Anyways, pumpkin chai and mocha doodle, amazing. It's like a pumpkin spice latte. It's like, okay, it, it, what it reminds me of, the image in my head is like if Dale and I were to go to Starbucks and I were to get a um, mocha latte and he were to get a pumpkin spice latte, that's what this smells like. If we're staying in there drinking our coffees together and you get the aroma from both. I loved pumpkin chai and mocha doodle because they both have a nutty note to them. And so you get the pumpkin and the chocolate. I dare even say this is kind of like a pumpkin bread. <laughs> so highly recommend mocha doodle and pumpkin chai. Try that because I loved it and I might, I don't have mocha doodle. Um, my daughter has that in her club, but I did not put that in my club because I don't really like to melt it on its own. But if these come back next year, well, I may. I don't really love pumpkin chai and so on either, but I love them together. But I may buy a couple bars of pump pumpkin chai just to see if mocha doodle comes back. Because I even think pumpkin chai might be fun with hugging a mug, even though that's more hazelnut than like chocolate nut. <laughs> I mean, mocha doodle to me, I get zero coffee. To me, it's kind of like, sorry. And that's probably really loud in that camera. I'm sorry. Because sometimes I set stuff down and I don't realize how loud it is till I watch it back and go, oh, but I'm not recording that, <laughs> re-recording it. So, sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I don't know. It could work. But, um, yeah, so... Mocha Doodle reminds me an awful lot of Central Park Pralines. Um, it's kind of the vibe I get from Mocha Doodle. I'm just like, eh, that's why I took pump, or Central Park Pralines out of my club. I'm just not into the chocolatey nutty. And that's more of like, 
like you actually got candy covered pralines. Never mind, doesn't matter because we're not talking about Central Park praline. Anyways, um, yeah, totally try pumpkin chai and mocha doodle. I love that. Um, love, love, love. Huh? I enjoyed that a lot. For not liking those on their own, I love them together. Um, and then I also did an, I did a couple of my own. Um, I also did another mix. Um, so I was thinking I wanted to put together, um, painted leaves. It's a bring back my bar that's still my club. It's literally like you're outside, like fresh air, but like, like the leaves are still just bright, bright yellow. And maybe someone cut down some branches near you and you kind of smell that fresh cut branches. Not a specific tree personally to my nose, but I'm not real good at picking out the difference between pines or evergreen or spruce. I'm not always real good at that. I just go tree. <laughs> so I was like, I want to bring out the tree note. I want to pretend that I'm going for a walk in the woods um, and maybe it rained the night before with painted leaves, painted woods, painted leaves. Um, and then I want to kind of amp up actual like evergreen kind of a note, some, some pine evergreen type note. So I used icicles and evergreen because painted leaves is kind of like autumn road trip without the fall spices. This is just the fresh air. And then icicles and evergreen is like a really sweet tree, like real sweet. Well, obviously if you got the bricks, you know, almost slightly perfumey, sweet, sweet tree. Um, this was beautiful together. Um, Dale was pretty indifferent to it. I loved it. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. But, um, I asked him about it and he loves painted leaves on its own. So I was just like, do you smell anything? And he's like, it's fine. Whatever it is, it's nice. He's super indifferent. I was like, okay. Well, so I don't think he love, love, loved it. Because if you if he loves it, he will tell you. Um, so he didn't absolutely love my mix. He thought it was nice. He's like, it always smells nice in here. Super not helpful. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it's like fresh air in the fall with some evergreens. Um, and then I did my favorite mix of all time. I have still some more from you guys. <laughs> um, this is literally one of my all time favorite mixes, um, that I've come up with. And it reminds me of carrot cake with cream cheese icing, um, scary good with, um, cinnamon buttercream. I love this so much. Cinnamon buttercream. I literally get like a cream cheese note, like a cream cheese buttercream icing. Um, with like a hint of cinnamon. It's like the baking, not the red hot. And then, oh, snack for myself. This is literally like carrot cake, like a spice cake. It's so good. <laughs> so I, I will, these are always going to be in my club because I love this combo. I love them on their own. I love them as mixers and I love this together. Carrot cake with cream cheese icing, scary good and cinnamon buttercream. Cannot recommend that enough. <laughs> and it's strong and it's, it's a good strong performer for at least a day, probably two, but I, I tend to want to keep going. So I, I, I'll, most of the time I'll change out my warmers daily. Um, unless it's real strong or real noticeable. So Eve <laughs> came up with a gorgeous, gorgeous mix. You guys, this is fantastic. I love this so much, but she took two of my favorites, put them together. And I was like, yes, <laughs> perfection, absolute perfection. I wish this came as a bar. Frosted vanilla, which is my new obsession for this year. Um, trying to think what last year, it doesn't matter. But um, guys, it's like, for me, it's like vanilla 
like a beautiful creamy vanilla with like a perfumey vanilla, almost borderline vanilla mint. Not as perfumey, but instead of, it's got more of the bright peppermint, kind of like Fresh Ice, NHL Fresh Ice or Olaf Warm Hugs. It's a little, it's a little brighter than Olaf Warm Hugs, but it's got this beautiful white birch note in it. And it doesn't really come off smoky per se, like campfire, but it's got this slightly woodsy, beautiful, beautiful note in it. And she said to mix that. Sorry, my throat's kind of dry. I feel like I'm going to cough. But um, with French vanilla. Oh. And I used all my French vanilla. <laughs> and I'm waiting for more to come in my club. And it's literally like French vanilla. Um... Did I say French vanilla? French lavender. <laughs> I'm looking at my paper and I'm staring at the vanilla when I'm saying that. French lavender. So it's, it's like a beautiful herbal lavender, but it's not like a sharp, astringent lavender to me. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So French lavender and frosted vanilla together. I did this and a um, cube. <clears throat> excuse me, in my bathroom, in the etched core warmer in my bathroom. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And you guys, I think the etched, I happen to have the silver one in my bathroom. Um, The etched core, I have, all, I have the gold mini and the full size, the silver mini and the full size, <laughs> and the um, rose gold full size of mini. I love the etched core warmers. Um, Love them so much. And the minis are literally one of the absolute best mini warmers I have ever owned. And I regret nothing about having all three colors. But gorgeous. <clears throat> Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot recommend enough. French lavender with frosted vanilla. Um, I would love to do, you know mix these together down here. Definitely 100% in my bedroom. Eve, thank you because that was absolutely spectacular. Spectacular. I love that so much. Um, that's one of my new favorite things. <laughs> so <coughs> literally lasted days and it's a pretty, I mean that warmer, that etched core mini warmer throws really well in my bathroom. Um, so you guys, that's spectacular. Try that next by Eve, because I loved it. Thank you, Eve. <laughs> and then I did another interesting mix. Um, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. Sorry. <laughs> At least my B-I-R-D-R-O-S-E, <laughs> for his name, um, isn't screaming. <laughs> but I'm dropping things and it's probably really noisy. So Chantal Richard recommended putting together and I got this bar when I went to Kansas for my daughter. Um, she has this in her club, <laughs> butter, butter pecan. Um, I was like, I need that for some mixes. She's like, okay. And I traded her some bars I had. So I really didn't think they'd do away with fall's flagship fragrance. <laughs> I mean, what do I know? So she recommended putting together, and this sounds really weird to me, <laughs> butter pecan and pink cotton. I don't love pink cotton. I, in fact, I don't like it at all, <laughs> but um, in wax. I don't even like it in the body cream. I don't like pink cotton. It's got too sharp of a laundry note for me. I wish I got lots of red berries. I don't, I get sharp laundry. It's pretty, but it's just not my favorite thing. It's just a little too sharp for my nose to enjoy it. It's pretty. Um, mix these together. I did one, this, and a cube in my bathroom in that etched core mini warmer. This was fantastic. <laughs> a food with a laundry. Go figure. <laughs> The way that uh, it, okay, so butter pecan is like creamy and rich, um, like buttery. It tones down that sharp, astringent almost note to my nose 
of the laundry that's in pink cotton creams it and tones it way down. And I was like, this is actually beautiful. <laughs> you got me. It, it made pink cotton, you still get the sweet and you still get the fresh, fresh quality. I mean, it's, it's a fresh category scent. You still get that freshness, but it's not astringent. It's, it's like a creamy berry, <laughs> like a creamy, ber sweet berry with a hint of laundry or fresh air kind of a thing. It was lovely <laughs> if you happen to have butter pecan in your club. Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, if you happen to have pink cotton, please put these two together. It sounds really weird, but it's really good. Now, I will say on day two, well, not even so much day two, more like day three, day four, a little bit into day two, butter pecan goes away and you get more pink cotton, just pink cotton. Um, I don't so much love that part of it, but day one, these are magnificent together. It's worth doing this for a day. I'm just saying. If you love pink cotton, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure you will love it. I was shocked. <laughs> and it's a nice medium to strong performer in my bathroom in that Edgecore mini warmer. Um, every time I walked in there, I could smell it and it was gorgeous. Um, and then butter pecan goes away. <laughs> you almost want to add another one because you're like, well, I'm kind of getting some of that laundry note again. But it's so pretty on day one. Like, blew me away. I had no idea. I was like, I'm not too sure about this, but it was lovely, Chantal. So, bravo. <laughs> um, and then I have more. <laughs> um, so I had a partial bar of um, Around the Campfire. And my friend Lee Harding from um, Scented with Lee in the UK, he has a YouTube channel. Um, and he said to put together an alternating warmer. So I did this upstairs in the office, Gingy's room, Cassie's old room, whatever you want to call it, the spare room. <laughs> Should just call it the spare room, I guess. <coughs> but it has my desk and a bunch of sexy supplies in it, so I call it the office too. And Gingy's bed makeshift bed. It's a feather bed that I didn't want to get rid of and I put it on the floor, folded it up, and he claimed it as his bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's in there with all my scentsy stuff. He recommended putting together spiced eggnog and around, oh my word, around the campfire in alternating warmers. This was nice. I love spiced eggnog and you wouldn't know it. This is actually my second brick. You wouldn't know because I haven't used it all up yet. Plus, this is in my club and I get mini bars. <laughs> I love it. It it smells like spiced eggnog to me. Like the kind you drink. I don't get the alcohol note. Um, I can't even say I've ever had an alco alcoholic eggnog. I only get the stuff that you get out of the grocery store because my son loves eggnog um, as much as I do. And I love eggnog scents. And I watched um, Ashley P. <laughs> do a haul. Sorry to digress so much, but it's very interesting. You should go watch her haul. But she did a haul from Target where she got some native body wash in eggnog scent, spiced eggnog. And I was like, I'm, I, I have to travel an hour and a half to go to a Target. Um, they're currently building one 45 minutes away from me, but yeah, I have to travel to get to a Target. So I messaged my daughter. I'm like, if you find the peppermint kind or the spiced eggnog kind, that's a great Christmas present. <laughs> oh, love this. So spiced eggnog is just like the drink that you get in the cartons out of the store or the gallon jugs. Um, and then around the campfire is a beautiful, sweet, perfumey campfire. I would wear this as a perfume. And I do not like when you go to a campfire and my hair, and my body, my skin, my clothes, everything, mostly my hair, smells like campfire. I hate that. This is so perfumey sweet. 
in with the campfire that I am absolutely obsessed. Almost like a... Amber sandalwood kind of perfumey. It's gorgeous. Um, and the alternating warmers was very nice because one didn't drown out the other. Um, although I still got more around the campfire than I did spiced eggnog. What it did, um, and I'd say it's medium to strong, um, mostly be, well, medium. Um, cause spiced eggnog is only medium to me and around the campfire is really honestly when it's warming, it's not as strong. It's, it's a medium, medium to light in, in anyways, around here. <clears throat> it seems like it would be super strong, but for me, it's not. Um, what spiced eggnog did for around the campfire is bring out the, um, almost like sweetness that's in around the campfire, which I think is a perfumey kind of like amber sandalwood sort of a note. Um, it brought out more of the perfuminess. Um, spiced eggnog is like creamy and you get the nutmeg. So it's like adding, because a lot, because some perfumes have nutmeg, um, like a vanilla creamy. So it's like you added those in with the perfume and it's like you made a perfume out of it. So it just kind of enhanced the perfuminess of around the campfire. I really enjoyed it. Um, so if you happen to have this in your club, last year's brick, um, spiced eggnog, or if you still have a brick, try alternating warmers, mixing it with around the campfire. This is a current club scent. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so thank you Lee for that one. That was fun. And then we have more. <laughs> um, did another mix. These go together and... What did I do with sugar cookie? That might have been sitting out for one I was going to do. Because I'm like, I... You guys, I only have one cube. One cube of sugar cookie. Let me read this. Yeah, I must have set it out there for what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Leslie Phillips recommended one and I was like, okay, this is gorgeous. I wish this was a bar. <laughs> so I obviously used up my Around the Campfire. Um, so I used two cubes in the, um, Element warmer in my kitchen, the pumpkin spice warmer, full size element warmer. It's a lower watt, eight watt maybe. Um, <clears throat> so I did two cubes of around the campfire. Um, now she said alternating, but I put them together. Um, and I would like to try it alternating. I do actually have a bar of this Christmas cottage. Um, so I do want to try it in the alternating and see like in the office and see how different it is versus the mixed version. But she was going for a cozy fireside vibe. Now for me personally, <laughs> a lot of people talk about a smoky note in around the campfire. I get zero smoke, zero. I get zero roasted apple kind of a roasted note. I get zero, none. I literally get red hot cinnamon and clove buds. I don't know where people get the smoky from. I really don't. <laughs> I definitely get the smoky note, the ember note in Spice Ember Glow that I do not get. And maybe because it's apple and I'm sensitive to app, like doing weird things with apples. <laughs> um, but in Cozy Fireside, the Cozy Fireside, I get red hot cinnamon and clove buds. But um, so it was kind of like, I wouldn't say it's like the bar cozy fireside, what it was like, and this is mixing them together. Um, cause I was just curious how it might mix. Cause, um, Christmas cottage is cinnamon, like a lot of red hot cinnamon. And I think there's a tree note, 
like maybe an orange, like a Valencia orange kind of a, it's a tester. It's kind of like mulling spices, basically, is kind of what cozy or Christmas cottage reminds me of. And then around the campfire, I just described. Um, so when I did it out there together, instead of alternating, which I'm still going to try alternating. So I'm going to save this paper, <laughs> um, Leslie, in my bar, because I am curious now, because it was so pretty. Pretty. If you don't like around the campfire, maybe try mixing it with this, because I thought it was pretty. It was like sitting by a a campfire okay let me describe it not an outside campfire what it is is like your home you have mulling spices on the stove maybe some like holiday kind of Christmas candles you know burning and then you've started your fireplace with like sweet woods like really like almost like cedar wood that you're burning Maybe even white birch <laughs> um, or like toasted oak kind of a thing in your like oak wood um, in your fireplace. So you get that perfumey sweet fire in the fireplace, crackling fire with like mulling spices on the stove or like Christmas candles burning in the background. This was Chris. Um, Christmas Cottage was the lighter scent, obviously, around the campfire kind of took over just a little. Well, it was a lot of around the campfire, but it was so pretty together. So pretty. Um, it, to me, it brought out the sweetness that's in around the campfire again and enhanced it. Um, so I'm definitely curious to try this because I definitely think Christmas Cottage is stronger than spiced eggnog. So I do think in alternating warmers, this might even be a little more equal. Um, you guys, this was so pretty. I would actually mix them together again. I really want to try it alternating. So Leslie, that was spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. It, it smells like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> if I could say that. So does in a different way. It's like a tree farm in a Hallmark movie, the... A sweet orange and evergreen um but this is like a hallmark movie but you're inside and they're you know i don't know having a romantic evening <laughs> with the fireplace and christmasy smells it's so pretty mixed together well i love that so much and these are two current catalog scents that i knew you guys would appreciate um i'm totally going to try that alternating Actually, I might go change those warmers now and try it and then report back next Melters Mixer because I really love that. So thank you, Leslie, for that one. I still have no idea why I have sugar cookies there. And then the last one was me again. <laughs> I don't know. I had some ideas. So this is my only brick right now. I kind of want to get another set. This and Hiroshino sugar cookie. I just haven't done it yet because I kind of want to cash out a party, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I'm waiting. <laughs> um, but caramel chestnut, um, with, I'm like, I wonder what caramel chestnut would smell like mixed with, um, pumpkin roll. So, or I'm sorry, pumpkin cinnamon swirl. So I did two of these, a pumpkin cinnamon swirl and a half a cube, a brick cube in my kitchen of and this is actually still going from yesterday of caramel chestnut and pumpkin cinnamon swirl i love this um it was it was a medium performer um i actually think that pumpkin cinnamon swirl or else it's that element warmer i swear by element warmers you guys um that made me come in the kitchen today and i still smelled caramel chestnut Um, and that's a lower watt element warmer. You would think polar panorama in my bedroom when I did this would have lasted longer. And I did like entire brick cubes, but actually, um, that lower watt element warmer, I still smell it. I don't, and maybe it's the combination. 
but you get that creamy, gorgeous, gourmand, creamy note from caramel chestnut. Slightly woodsy like Palo Santo, but it's like that beautiful perfumey wood to me. It's magnificent. It's that slightly toasty note of caramel chestnut with pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Now pumpkin cinnamon swirl, I get pumpkin roll. And my grandma used to make them every year. We used to fight over it. <laughs> um, I have her recipe, which literally is just the recipe off the Libby pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin filling. Um, doesn't matter. It's amazing to me and I love it. Um, but it's, um, I, I guess they're also called a roulade, but we've always called it pumpkin roll. <laughs> so that's why, and I mean, literally the cream cheese is in this. So you get that pumpkin roll with the cream cheese, like that roulade um, pumpkin roll with cream cheese. But it's like you also made, at the same time you made some like um, caramel sticky buns. Um, or maybe you did some um, caramel drizzle on top of your pumpkin cinnamon, your pumpkin roll with cream cheese icing. Talk about gourmand. <laughs> I love these together, love them. Um, this is currently in my club. I will be getting little bars of this in maraschino sugar cookie and I'm okay with it because I personally feel like my six month old bar of maraschino sugar cookie that I saved from the with box in December and did it in July or June um, lasted way longer than, than the brick, but sometimes I won't, Linda H mentioned that too. Um, sometimes I think the bricks are lighter, um, than the actual bars. So I'll definitely be sitting on my maraschino sugar cookie and I don't mind if it's lighter. I love it. Um, I love the sugar cookie note in it with the hint of cherry. I don't know, but I'm more of a bakery girl. So definitely grab yourself a bar of pumpkin cinnamon swirl either put this in your scentsy club um create a scentsy club to get a bar or buy some bricks and try pumpkin cinnamon swirl mixed with caramel chestnut i highly recommend it i, I just i can't get enough right that was lovely and it's still going in my kitchen um i just i was so curious what pumpkin would smell like with caramel chestnut because I just, this is my favorite. I actually love this more than maraschino sugar cookie. But you guys, like, just like around the campfire, just like frosted vanilla. I love that, even like Palo Santo. I love that, that sweet, uh, smoky note. Almost like a perfumey smoky note. And that love and happiness had it. Um, I haven't melted that in a little while. I'm kind of sitting on him. Um, but it's in my club. I just, I love that. I would wear this as a perfume, <laughs> but, um, due to my Scentbird subscription, I know that they put, they make gourmand perfume <laughs> and they make caramel with a woodsy perfume. I don't know that they necessarily put pumpkin and cream cheese in with it, but you guys, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. I loved it and it was gourmand and it was beautiful and it was decadent. And so I had some really great mixers um, this week. Definitely try those. Thank you, you guys, for sharing your ideas. I have so much fun working on them. Um, even like Chantal with the, uh, butter pecan and pink cotton, even if I think it's, it sounds weird, <laughs> you guys, it ends up surprising me. I really like that one. Um, not enough to put pink cotton in my club. I don't have any more butter pecan than that anyway, but if I did, I might be tempted <laughs> to get a few bars just to melt that because it was so good and it shocked me. So... I will try just about anything. So definitely keep the ideas coming. I'm having so much fun. You guys inspire me too um, to do some fun ones myself. And um, 
mocha doodle and pumpkin chai. <laughs> but bakery gourmand girl, yeah, I'm all about that. Lit. Like I love mixing all the foodie ones. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much, you guys. Um, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I mean that I'm not just saying that I mean that from the bottom of my heart, a hundred percent. Um, I just, I, I, I probably say it too much to where it doesn't feel as authentic, but I a hundred percent mean it every time I say it, I could never continue to do this without you guys. Um, just commenting on my channel, watching my videos, um, you know, if you happen to buy, um, or just share or like, and subscribe or any of that stuff, I, I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. So, um, it literally means everything to me. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys and I mean it and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep the ideas coming and we'll keep having fun together and we'll keep funding or we'll keep finding fun mixes. And um, I will upload um, a video that I have of like my warmers and how I have them decorated for Halloween and Thanksgiving here in the US because we're a little bit different than Canada. And then um, I have another one that I did over Halloween that. Um, was kind of changing my wax and is it different changing my Scentsy wax versus vendor wax and all that stuff. So stay tuned. Um, I will put those together and get those out as well. And, um, my club today's the eighth, right? It's today the eighth. Yeah. My club should pay today. It's my bi-monthly club. Next month is my quarterly club. So it'll be a decent sized, bi-monthly because I kind of split them up a little bit because at the time I could and so it, it's less of a burden <laughs> um doing it that way so stay tuned and um I did an order with a girl from work um we put our order together so that should be coming real soon as well so um stay tuned thanks guys bye